Thank you. And Arturo Amaguer was given two consecutive life sentences after prosecutors were able to link his DNA to the crime scene. Arturo Almaguer's demeanor throughout most of the hearing was calm and pensive, except during a brief moment when chuckling with his attorneys before the judge read his fate. Corrections for a term of life. Almaguer was found guilty in the double homicide that took place in November of 1988 when he broke into Evan and Wilda Squire's RV home in Wessico. Prosecutors used the suspect's fecal matter and clothes he left behind after killing the couple as evidence, which was kept by then-detective Pat Pendleton. Her son, William, would later reopen the cold case. Eventually, Almaguer will run into the law again in 2012 in Grand Rapids, Michigan, where a blood sample would be entered in a national database. DNA, um, that's really one of the biggest things in this case. This is how we were able to place the defendant inside the home at the time that this uh, murder occurred, not knowing in 1988 that uh, DNA technology would actually be something years later and, and, it, would, and it was going to be the main uh, evidence in this case. The victim's family couldn't hold back tears as they listened to Wilda's daughter-in-law share her testimony of the couple who were married for two years and cherished their winters in Westlaco before their lives were cut short. For us, it, it'll never go away. For our sons, it will never go away. Um, but I think we can cope a little bit better now. The Winnipeg couple traveled to Texas for the week-long hearing, possibly their last visit to the valley. We like the valley. Um, we've been down a couple times before, but there's some nightmares here too. Texas is, there's still a warm spot here, but you can understand the feelings we have. Satisfied with the verdict and the sentencing, the family will now prepare to fly back home with some closure. And the Wesaco detective in this case says they're working other similar cases that date back to the 80s that Almaguer might be linked to, for which we will be looking out for. Oscar Margain reporting from the control room. Let's head it back to the studio.